Dear viewers, welcome back. Alhamdulillah, before the break, we finished the chapter of the elephant, Surah Al-Fil, and now, Alhamdulillah, we will start with a new chapter, that is chapter of Quraysh. Quraysh, it's a tribe name where Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, descended from. So from Quraysh, there is Banu Hashim, and from Banu Hashim, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he came and he was born from that tribe. So, Allah Almighty started by saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. And before starting this ayah, Allah Almighty descended this chapter before the Hijrah. So this is considered as a Makki surah, as a Makki chapter. So, after Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, Allah Almighty said, Li'ila fi Quraysh which means for the accustomed security of the Quraysh. Yes, Quraysh used to have a security. Quraysh, they used to have a big fame. Quraysh used to have a reputable name and fame and everything. Why? Because they used to live in Mecca. They used to control the Meccan city and they used to be the guardian of Kaaba, And because of that, their name, their tribe, used to be very famous and known to other people in Yemen, in Sham, in Syria, in other places. Everyone knows who is Quraysh. So Allah Almighty talking about them by saying, لِإِلَى فِي قُرَيْشِ For the accustomed security of Quraysh. And then Allah Almighty said after that, إِلَى فِيهِمْ their accustomed security in the caravans of the winter and summer. So imagine they used to go in winter, as it says, they used to go in winter to Yemen and they used to go in summer to Sham. Wherever they are going and they are coming, full security. People used to respect them. People used to give them hospitality, a proper hospitality. Wherever they are going from Mecca all the way to Yemen, in between, people respect them, people having security for them, people give them proper hospitality. Why? Because they are from Quraysh. The Quraysh is the guardian of Mecca or the Kaaba. So that's why they used to give them this honor. So Allah Almighty gave them this honor to be people of Quraysh and to be in Mecca. And then Allah Almighty said, فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ So because of this honor, because of this fame, because of this, all the services that you are getting, you have to worship Allah Almighty. So Allah says, فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ So let them worship the Lord of this house. Which house Allah Almighty is talking about? Kaaba. This is the house of Allah. And of course, when you say house of Allah, it does not mean literally that Allah lives in it. But this is a sacred place where built by Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam. So two prophets, they built this place long time ago and it was there. So Allah Almighty kept it as a symbol, as a direction, as a sacred place so people can worship Allah Almighty through that direction. So Allah Almighty said, فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ So all this Quraysh and everyone should worship Allah Almighty, the owner and the Lord of this house. And then Allah Almighty is telling and giving us what is the blessings that Allah Almighty gave the Quraysh and all the people. الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِّن جُوعٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِّن خَوْفٍ Allah Almighty, He is the one who has fed them from hunger and who made them safe from fear. So Allah Almighty gave them, He fed them wherever they go, either to going to Yemen or going to the Sham, wherever they go and come, they are always eating and having security and nothing is wrong with them, no dangers on, on them, right? So Allah is reminding them that Allah Almighty gave them the food Allah Almighty gave them so they can eat and there will be no hunger. And Allah Almighty gave them the security and the safety so there is no any danger on, on them and upon them. So 
This is the short meaning or a short surah that means that Allah Almighty gave honor to the Quraysh and Allah Almighty made them to go to you know, their caravans and they do the business to the Sham or to the uh, Yemen in winter and in, in the summer. They have to worship Allah Almighty and He is the one who fed them from hunger and He saved them from fear. So I ask Allah Almighty to keep blessing his blessings upon us and I ask Allah Almighty to keep us always guided until we meet him and he will take us to the paradise Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen and by that Alhamdulillah we are done with this chapter and we are done with this episode so inshallah ta'ala we will continue with the next episode so by then take care of yourself Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh